Hello everyone. I welcome you all for the webinar on the topic Simulate and Optimize Your Designs and Empower Your Business. I am Harish working as an Application Engineer in EGS Computers India Private Limited. I have a simple agenda which starts with introduction of SOLIDWORKS flow simulation explaining the capabilities, a sample demo on the interface and summarizing my presentation at the end. SOLIDWORKS flow simulation is used to solve real-time computational fluid dynamics problems. It uses Navier-Stokes equations as a base to solve the problems. It is fully integrated within the CAD systems which even helps the designers to become CFD specialists. Generally, fluid flow and heat transfer analysis are done to simulate our designs for calculating the liquid and gas flow parameters. As I told before, this technology is fully embedded with the CAD system. The user can create multiple changes in the existing designs and study for the same and multiple scenarios for creating new designs. The user also has the ability to conduct multiple iterations and scenarios to optimize the existing design with respect to the objective of simulation. Taking all these things into aspect, the user can produce increased product performance and better efficiency of the products in the initial stages of the design, which leads the organization to minimize the prototype costs, testings and reworks. Coming to the demonstration, I have a small valve example with me to validate for the pressure drop across the valve. We will start by setting up the project, apply boundary conditions, set goals and run the analysis. The first step is to set up the project using wizard. Here we will see how to define the fluid and its properties by providing the necessary input data. Moving into the SOLIDWORKS interface, we can type the project name, select the configuration that is any modification with respect to the existing designs, select the type of unit system and modify for the changes and also change the decimal separator for display of results. Next, we will select for internal or external analysis. The user can use the heat conduction in solids for performing the conjugate heat transfer analysis and provide time dependent for transient analysis and can also provide rotating region for any suction or swirl like how the fluid flows in the valves. The next step is to select the fluid which is to be tested for the current project. For this project, I am using water as my fluid to study for the valve which is being used. With these things, we get finished with the wizard settings. Coming to the slide back again, SOLIDWORKS flow simulation is a wizard based pre-processing for defining the initial step of the study. Here we will provide and define all the necessary fluid properties which is required to construct the domain. The next we will start by providing the boundary conditions to our model. We will constrain our model based on the real time conditions and understand the loads which needs to be provided for a better fluid flow. Coming to the interface again. Once we right click on the boundary conditions, the user can apply mass flow, volume flow, velocity for the inlets and outlets and also use the pressure conditions for defining the static, environmental and total pressures and also can apply wall conditions. For each and every conditions, the user can directly assign the value for the corresponding boundary condition. 
For this globe wall model, I am applying inlet volume flow for 0.6 meter cube per minute and environmental pressure at the outlet to fully restrain the model for good flow conditions. Moving into the slides, the boundary condition step is where we will be constraining our model, provide all the inlet and outlet conditions to the model, selecting the type of condition whether it's going to be a flow opening involving velocity, mass and volume or pressure like static, environmental etc. The next step we will see how to set goals to define the objective of performing CFD. By simply right clicking on the goals, the user can directly define each and every goals to look into specific. For this study, as I mentioned before, I am more concentrated on the pressure drop. So I use a simple equation to define that as inlet minus outlet. And also I will focus on the average velocity for the flow. And I also include the inlet and outlet pressures in my goal settings. For a particular areas of interest, the user can set goals involving points, surfaces, etc. Moving to the slide, in the goal setup stage, we are monitoring individual parameters relating to flow where convergence controls are used to have a linear and accurate results during the iterative process. Once the user sets the goals, the goal visualization is done when the analysis is run. Once we are done with all the preliminary work, we'll just run the analysis for the setup project and review the results. At first, I will start with the cut plot to verify the velocity result on a cross-sectional area. For this study, I have 1.6 meter per second as my maximum value which occurs in these areas. With blue to red colors, the user can directly interpret with the result plots and try to focus more on the hot spots. The user also has the flexibility to drop down the result parameter and change to view for other results simultaneously, say for example density, pressure, temperature or can also add parameters. The next plot is the flow trajectories where I can exactly visualize the fluid flow for the given conditions. By playing the animation, the user has a clear picture of what is happening. Say for this valve example, if any recirculation defects or cavitation effects are taking place or not. So he can visualize and make the preliminary changes and just run to have a better result. The next is the goal plot which produces the values for the setup goals. As I am more concerned on the pressure drop, I have the value specified over here. The user can also export the values to Excel and see how the convergence has taken place for the added goals. By a single click, the user can also create document for the entire analysis study with a predefined template. Coming to the slide, SOLIDWORKS flow simulation provides the user with enhanced visualization of the results plots which makes the user to decide whether to go with the existing design or modify by making changes. With all these things taken into account, we can predict the impact of flows with plots like cut plot, surface plot and flow trajectories to visualize the fluid flow. And we have e-drawing which is a communication tool to view, print and mark up your designs.
This helps the user to communicate with higher officials or sharing designs with customers in an executable format along with the CFT results. In case of any modifications, he can use notes to communicate and if everything looks okay, then he can directly approve the design. With automatic report generation, CFD gives the user to get his job done. So coming to the end of my presentation, let me just summarize with points. CFD can solve complex problems with easy use of tools letting the user to visualize what is exactly happening with his design with beautiful result plots. If necessary, he can then and then make changes in the existing design and run multiple iterations and also the parametric study to optimize the design based on the goal of concern. With all these aspects, the designer will be happy to deliver innovative conceptual designs leading the company to make more profit with good product efficiency. Thank you all for attending this presentation. In case of any queries, kindly contact me at harishs at egs.co.in or info at egs.co.in. Thank you once again. Have a good day.